Welcome to this tutorial on how to send Slack channel messages from a webhook automatically. Guys, Slack is a powerful communication tool used by many businesses and webhook is a feature by which applications communicate with each other. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use both of these things to streamline your communication process. So I'm going to integrate webhook feature with Slack in such a way that whenever you are going to receive a data from one application, a Slack message will be delivered automatically in a channel. And guys, you do not have to manually type the message and you, you do not even have to log in and the message will be delivered. And we are going to set up this automation without any coding just by a few simple clicks. So without any further ado, let's begin. To set up this automation, we are using an automation tool named as Pavli Connect and this is the landing page of Pavli and I'm going to paste the same link in the description as well so that you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automation. So you can just sign up right now from the given link and after that sign in and select Pavli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect like this. From here, you have to click on this create workflow button to set up an automation workflow. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So uh, let me give the name here. All right, so after giving such names guys, you can just click on create button and your workflow page will load up like this. And from here, we can set up the automation by using these two modules, the trigger and the action. So our automations are based on these two principles. Trigger is going to start the workflow and the action would be an automated consequence of the trigger. In our use case, we are going to capture the data from any application using webhook feature of Pavli Connect and the action would be to uh, automatically send a message in Slack. Okay, so here guys, just search for webhooks. You can see webhook option here, just select it. Okay, and it will provide you this webhook uniform resource locator or URL. So this is a kind of web address on which you can send or transfer the data from any application. Okay, so with the help of this, we are going to create a connection with, a, when, with any external application. In this case, I'm using Elementor plugin of WordPress to connect with this webhook trigger. Okay, so I have a contact form created with the help of Elementor plugin. Okay, this is a contact form I have created. And here I'm going to click on edit with Elementor so that the uh, uh, editor of Elementor plugin will open up. And from this editor, we are going to create the connection. You can see. So inside this editor guys, when you click on any element here or any field, on the left hand side panel, you will find this content tab. Under content tab, when you scroll down, you will find this actions after submit button. Under actions after submit, you, you have to search for an action which is called webhook. Okay. When you add this action here, the webhook field will appear in, the, uh, in this uh, menu like this. Click on webhook and here you will find this field, the webhook URL field. In this field, you have to paste this URL. Just copy this and paste this URL here in this field like this. Okay. Then click on update button and update your form. All right. So my form or web page is updated. Now let me open this page. All right. So this is my web page in which I have a form. And here you can see as we have copied the webhook URL in our trigger, it started waiting for the webhook's response. This means now we can perform a test submission. Test submission means now I'm going to manually fill the form and submit the form on behalf of any contact or any user visiting our website. So that form submission will act as a test submission for us and the data of that test response will be captured here in this section, in the response section of our trigger. Let us just do that because with the help of the, that test data only, we are going to move forward in the automation. So here I'm putting the details of any user. The name is dummy. The last name is user. This is the email address. This is a phone number and this is the age. Okay. These are the details I have filled and here I'm clicking on submit button and you can see the form is getting submitted. 
All right, you can see it is written here. Your submission was successful. Let's see in our workflow. Here you can see guys, we have received the response in which we got the same details like this in these labels, the first name, the last name, the email address, the phone number, the age, and the form ID. Okay. Now guys, after getting the form submission, I want to inform my team present on Slack that we have just received a form submission on our website. For that to happen automatically, use this action step and search for Slack here. You will find like this, select it. Select the action event as send channel message. Then click on connect button. From here, select add new connection and then click on connect with Slack. And here it will ask for the token types of Slack. So for connecting with Slack, we have two kinds of token types. One is user, other is bot. And both of these token types have different kind of permission accesses to Slack. So you can read about the permissions by clicking on this here word written in blue and you will reach the forum page of Pavli Connect. And here you can see what kind of permissions you get when you use user as the token type. These are the following permissions. And when you use bot as a token type, you will get these permissions. Okay. For now, I'm using bot as the token type BOT and click on save and it will bring you to this window. It might bring you to the login window if you're not logged in, but I have already logged in in Slack. So I'm going to select my space from this space list. This is my spaces name. And then you have to provide these additional accesses to your workspace by clicking on allow that is completely safe and you will be connected with Slack like this. Okay. We are connected and here you have to select your channels name. So this is my Slack account and this is a channel I have named as random channel and these, this is the channel I have. So I'm going to select this name from here and here you can type a message that you want to send automatically to your team. So let me type a message here. So guys, I have typed the message like this. You can see, Hey team, this is to inform you that we have received a new form submission on our website. The details are as follows. And here I'm going to provide the details that we have received via form submission here in this response. Okay. So to send the details automatically in every new message, you need to map these labels that you have received here in this, in this, in this message. Okay. So to map the data, you just have to click here like this in front of name and the previous webhook step will appear in the drop down. And when you click on it, you can see the data right here. So from here, map the first name, then map the last name. And after that, map the email address. Okay, contact number and age. Okay. So when you map the labels here like this, in real time, whenever you are going to receive a new form submission, the labels will be updated and new messages with fresh data will be sent to your team automatically. Okay. That's why we map the things here. And after that, if you, if you want that your bot who is delivering this message for you should have an icon, you can place the bot icon here. You can place a bot name here. Let me put the bot name as, uh, form submission form only. Okay. Or let's say web form, right? And if you want to send any image, you can place the URL of image here. Okay. And if you are sending any link, you can select if you want to expand the link or not. Okay. And you have many things to use. And after that, you can check the connection with Slack by clicking on save and send test request button and a new message will be delivered on this random channel of Slack. Okay. Let us see. I'm clicking on save and send test request button. This is the response we have received. Let's see in our Slack channel if we got a new message. And here you can see guys, we got a new message via a web form bot. Okay. And the message is this, Hey team, this is to inform you that we have received a new submission and these are the details. And these are the same details that I have filled and mapped here that are filled in the form and mapped here. Okay. And our connection is working fine and we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that. It will work silently in the background and in real time, whenever you are going to receive any new form submission from your user, you will receive the messages on your Slack channel automatically. And guys, I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description. 
so that you can clone this workflow in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, if you want to connect with our support team, you can email us at support at the rate You can ask and discuss your queries on our forum via this link. And you can check the pricing plans of Pabli Connect via pabli.com slash connect hashtag pricing. And guys, if you like our videos, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.